Hello YouTube, Lars Garage here, um, working on uh, this uh, 2017 Dodge 2.4 uh, engine in it, we will apply the same for the Dodge Avenger or any Dodge um, journey with this same engine and we are replacing the thermostat housing in this this truck, this engine, because it's leaking. So uh, we need to disassemble all of the top part right here, the uh, air intake box, uh, disconnect the hoses, this hose, so we're gonna remove all of this and it's really easy, you wanna remove this uh, 10 millimeter bolt from here because we need to, we need to remove uh, this uh, whole uh, air box from there so we can have room to work and then um, we wanna re remove this uh, clip retainer right here We want to remove this connector and then remove this hose from here, either from the, the engine or from the airbox, whichever is easier for you. And then we want to unscrew this clamp. Use enough to pull it out, and uh, the airbox you, you, you're just going to have to pull it out of there. Make sure you unlock it from here and then you start pulling and it should come off. There you go. Alright, this is a whole whole piece. You can either leave this here, you know, just bend it over there, this hose, and uh, we want to have access to the thermostat housing now. I already replaced it. Uh, it looks new because I, I just replaced it, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So when you get to the thermostat house, you you will have um, you you will have three 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 hoses, right? You have this one, one, two hoses. The, these two coming from the radiator. You will have, I'm sorry, four hoses. Two more over here in the back. They have the same clamp. You get a pliers like this, and then uh, grab the clamp, right? Grab the clamp, and then just move it back and remove the hose. After you do that, there is a connector. There is a connector right there on top of the uh, thermostat housing that we need to remove. Just uh, push in the clip, and it's gonna it's gonna pop up, right? The uh, thermostat housing has only three bolts. You see them over there, two bolts, all right? So remove those two, bol two bolts. There is gonna be the third one. In the middle right there. And then you just have to kind of wiggle the um, the thermostat housing to, to get it out from there. In my case, um, it was leaking from uh, here. R right there is where the thermostat goes. And I think it was there is there is a no ring. Uh, I think that was the problem. But I just replaced the whole thing. There is another O ring in the back, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the process. Have to have to uh, put it back together. Okay, I'm going to replace the uh, big O ring in the back. Just grab a tool, something like this, and uh, remove the. Uh, Next thing you want to do is install the new uh, thermostat housing. Remember, you already installed the uh, um, you already installed the uh, the thermostat. Make sure it's in the same direction as the old one. All right. Okay. Once you make sure it's in the same position. Uh, Make sure you clean the uh, wall right here, okay? Where the uh, thermostat is going to sit in the engine block. Make sure it's clean. That way, uh, the uh, 
Rover can see it uh, perfectly. We don't have a leak in the future. Right. And let's install this uh, thermostat housing. Remember, you need to push the back side really hard, right? In order to get in there. Okay, once it's installed, all the bolts all the way in. Make sure you don't over tight uh, this uh, thermostat house. Remember, it's plastic, you don't want to break it. I don't have the specs for it, but uh, you know, just a couple of duras. Don't go too, too hard on it. And I'm going to show you how to remove this uh, little uh, sensor from here. Not a big deal, but uh, a little bit tricky. So you got uh, this little lock right here. I don't know if you're able to see it, this little look. So you have to uh, pop it and then turn the sensor. Pop it and turn, turn the sensor. I already, I already remove it, but I'm just showing you. Uh, that's why it's kind of loose, but sometimes a little bit hard because the little O-ring in there is going to be sticky to the wall. So once you... Uh, uh, pop it from that lock right there uh, you're gonna start pulling pulling the sensor out of there so what I did uh, it was really stuck in it so with a flat screwdriver just little by little all right around the sensor around the ses sensor until uh, it's loose it's do not uh, go too hard on it you don't want to break it so be patient just little by little all around the sensor until you can move it by 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 hand then you just pull it and this is the little o-ring that I was telling you about. We're gonna need to replace this o-ring right here, which is, came with the package. So, we're gonna get our tool, remove this o-ring. I'm gonna get a new one and I always like to clean wherever the o-rings is gonna go any o-ring just clean it and uh, install the new o-ring there you go and then um, we have to see hopefully it does it doesn't leak because it's too loose I see it that it's too loose uh, we have to check that out but now we're gonna install it again just put it in twist it until it locks in and uh, connect the sensor and that's it okay lock in and it's gonna be a little bit hard to put it in there you know because because the new uh, o-ring just so you know remember that and uh, that's, that's how you install the sensor. Now let's connect all the hoses, uh, refill the car with uh, coolant, and uh, we're gonna look for leaks. Okay, YouTube. So hoses are back together, are, are back in place. Um, right now it's gonna be hard for me to look for leaks because there is a lot of coolant still around this truck. But um, I'm gonna fill it out with the uh, coolant. Um, running for a couple couple of minutes and uh, maybe go for a ride around the corner and uh, let the engine dry and see if I'm having some leaks. I'm going to install the um, air filter box now and that's it. Uh, I'm, we're going to be done with this with this truck. Uh, this is all you need to do to replace uh, this uh, thermostat housing. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please consider liking and subscribe. Thank you very much.